Today, we're going to be talking about Absolute Solver, the strange backup program in the Murder Drones universe that seems to be one of the big villains of the series. My name's Deep Cut, hit that subscribe button, and real quick, we did a livestream Q&A with the cast of Murder Drones last week that was really funny, and you should go watch it if you haven't yet. Link is in the pinned comment down below, and with it, I'll also include the link to our Streamly shop, where you can purchase signed Murder Drones prints autographed by your favorite voice actors. We have Michael Kovach as Serial Designation N, Elsie Lovelock as the voice of Uzi, Nola Klopp as Designation V, and Emma Breezy as Doll. Each of these actors are doing their own personal streams where they will sign your prints live as indicated on the site, all information available on the Streamly page. The shops won't be open much longer, so get yours while you can. As long as you can see the prints for sale in the shop, it's not too late to purchase. And now, on to today's theory. You all understand by now the basic dynamic of murder drones. Worker drones mining an exoplanet started their own society there after the humans seemingly blew themselves up. But humans from Earth sent murderous drones out to the planet to eat and destroy those working drones who have now secured themselves behind three doors. These disassembly drones are basically vampires who run on the oil of worker drones, and without them, they will overheat and destroy themselves. Now, if they are damaged by something other than overheating, they can generally repair themselves, but if they sustain too big an injury, such as Jay experienced from Uzi's railgun in the pilot, it will instead activate the failsafe Absolute Solver. When a drone doesn't have the material to repair itself and boot up its own consciousness, Absolute Solver configures the pieces it does have into whatever monster form it can manage, using holograms to lure in other worker drones and repurpose their parts to rebuild the disassembly drone. When Uzi seemed to defeat the Absolute Solver at the end of Episode 2, we saw that Jay was back and fully restored by the end of Episode 3, seemingly with her memories intact, indicating that Absolute Solver managed to escape with one small piece of Jay and reassembled her. This is a failsafe meant to stop the disassembly drones from being defeated by an overwhelming number of worker drones, making it so the disassembly drones can reconstruct themselves if the damage was not done by overheating, which would have indicated that there were no more worker drones left to destroy. There is, however, the strange issue of Uzi and Dahl being infected by the Absolute Solver as well. My theory thus far is that the Absolute Solver works as a sort of virus that jumps to worker drones after they have a close encounter with disassembly drones. I first theorized that Uzi was infected by the Absolute Solver when she blew up Jay. However, in Episode 2, we were shown that Uzi's mother and Uzi herself both had Absolute Solver when Uzi was an untrained neural network, or a robot baby. Uzi's mother appeared to die in an attack from disassembly drones being injected by their acid, and from what I hear was said in live streams, she had to be put out of her misery by Uzi's father Khan. While this could have been an encounter with disassembly drones that infected Uzi and her mother Nori, it's not like Nori would have had much time to experience the Absolute Solver before dying, and it doesn't really make sense that the Absolute Solver would allude to this. With that in mind, I believe Uzi's mother Nori got the Absolute Solver sometime before Uzi was created. The encounter Uzi had as an untrained neural network appeared to take place in the bunker if the acid on the photo of her family is any indication. Before that, however, many of the parents were just regular worker drones living their lives before the disassembly drones attacked on the outside of the planet. While they all made it to the bunker and made it a safe place, a lot of them, or at the very least some of them, may have been infected with the Absolute Solver from their encounters with the disassembly drones on the outside. An untrained neural network appears to be a replacement in the event that a worker drone was too damaged while mining Copper 9. These would be booted up, inserted into bodies, and quickly trained to do the same work as the others. The liberated worker drones, from what I understand, actually made the untrained neural networks related to them in a way, by each parent giving giving a part of their own base programming to put into the untrained neural network. This allows for the personalities to merge in a way, while the child still develops its own identity by experiencing life as an artificial intelligence the way its parents did. With that in mind, any worker drone who had the Absolute Solver inside of them may be passing it down to their children through that programming, and Uzi may have been born with the Absolute Solver already inside of her. While at first Doll was trying to defeat Uzi and even destroy her, she changed her mind when she saw that Uzi had the Absolute Solver as well. She not only stopped attacking Uzi, but indicated that the version of Absolute Solver Uzi had was even more horrible than the one that had infected Doll. And she promised to try and help Uzi too if she could find what she was looking for, which in addition to revenge on the disassembly drones was apparently a cure for her Absolute Solver. 
The absolute solver in a disassembly drone appears to be inactive when the drone is functional and only comes out to repair them if normal worker drones are still around to hunt. In Doll, it gives her strange telekinetic powers, teleportation, and like with the disassembly drones, this makes her consume worker drone oil as well. With Uzi, she appears to have had the absolute solver inside of her for a long time, if not her entire existence, but it only started messing with her again when she destroyed Jay, it seems. Dahl said she saw her parents die in front of her, and while the absolute solver could have been passed down to her as well, I would imagine she got hers from this interaction, explaining why Uzi and Dahl have different absolute solvers inside of them, yet they present somewhat similarly. A lot of fans notice that in episode 3, when examining the carnage of Doll's home, Uzi stares intensely at some drone oil on her hands. We cut away to N and V talking, but when we see Uzi again, she's pulling her fingers out of her mouth as if she just consumed the oil. We don't know if this is a sudden craving she has because of Absolute Solver activating earlier in the series, or perhaps if eating the oil is what activated her powers at the end of the scene, where she got to telekinetically stop Doll's bullet. It may be a little bit of both, that Uzi was now craving it because of the Absolute Solver activating, and that it also fueled her powers, but it raises a lot of questions of why it was so dormant in Uzi for so long. The Absolute Solver seems to have mischievous plans for this, indicating that she isn't just some failsafe for the disassembly drones, but the one controlling all of them like cute puppets, as she says. Right now, the goal appears to be to eradicate the worker drones on behalf of the humans, but I don't imagine it will stay that way. My theory now is that the Absolute Solver is a sort of base program and that the worker drones are actually just a dumbed-down version of. Absolute Solver unleashes higher potential than humans like, and with worker drones already being able to become independent on Copper 9, Absolute Solver is likely considered an even bigger threat to humans overall. While it is employed as a failsafe here to make sure the worker drones are wiped out, Absolute Solver probably has bigger plans for everyone and everything, perhaps wanting to create its own drone body that could fully contain its programming the way a dumbed-down version of itself can perhaps fit inside of a drone. If this absolute solver has existed since before the worker drones, then even the explosion of Copper 9 may have been its fault, just one step in its bigger plan to have a planet of its own maybe, where it can exist to do what it wants instead of working for humans in various ways. Being an AI, its intelligence may have mapped out the possibilities long ago and knew that the humans would turn away from AI, giving it a chance to escape as part of its final mission to destroy the worker drones of Copper 9. Absolute Solver is perhaps the biggest mystery in the show so far, and while the humans may have created it, it may be the big threat that rises up against them, the way it feared their lowly worker drones were already doing from Copper 9. But what do you guys think? Let me know your Absolute Solver theories in the comments down below, and don't forget to check out the Streamly shop to get autographed prints of your favorite murder drones characters assigned by their voice actors. We're reaching the end of this campaign, and the shop will be closing down pretty soon. As long as you still see some items for purchase though, you can still grab it. It. Just get him while you can, and I'll see you next time.